We started February with $35,883.52 of debt. It's the last of our six-figure debt, most of which were student loans because, you know, we bought the lie that a college degree equals success and it's okay to borrow money in order to get it. Blase, blase, blase. But you live and learn and we will never <laughs> go into debt again. Do you hear me? Like never. Our hope was to pay off all our debt and to be debt free in 2023. The beginning of 2023, we laid out a nice little plan and you can check out that video to see that. But there have been some developments. One being that we are going to owe taxes to the IRS. We were originally hoping to get like two G's or I'd even settle for a thou but no, we owe. Since we do have children, we were under the impression that yeah, we're gonna get money back, but it's looking like we're going to owe. We still have some loose ends to tie up, but definitely that $2,000 we plan to go towards debt this year probably is not gonna happen, at least not from a tax return. So in that last debt update, I also calculated that we'll need to throw $3,000 every month in order to pay off our debt completely this year. And we actually did that in January. You can take a look at that video, but I don't think it's sustainable. In fact, February, what we're talking about right now, proves that $3,000 a month going towards debt is not sustainable right now as it stands with our family. So this debt payment that we have paid in February is from what's left over after we pay all of our expenses. Our income, if you're new, is my husband's full-time job as a public school teacher. He also works part-time during the work week uh, at the Boys and Girls Club. And then he does contract work, which he just squeezes into a schedule somehow, uh, writing for ed tech companies, education publishing, things like that. I also have a weekend job, it's not that much. It's actually minimum wage, but um, it's working Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and it just works with this schedule for now. And it's bringing in something. Our total income for February came to $7,983.03. Our expenses were a surprising $5,602, kind of high for us, but that included car repair. We had to replenish our $1,000 emergency fund. It was that. It was another high electric bill because of winter. An increase in our car insurance. And then some extra spending from birthdays, kids clothes, new shoes. Subtracting our expenses from our income gave us some extra money. The leftover money we used towards debt. That was $1,516.04. And it brought our total debt down to $34,367.48. Super grateful, but look, here is the problem. I can't keep up this weekend job. It's breaking me down, like literally, and I'm quitting. Like I've put in a notice and I gave them two weeks and then I'm out. Sorry. And it's really hard because obviously the debt free journey is not supposed to be easy. It's supposed to be a lot of hard work and grind and hustle, hustle, hustle. And what I was doing basically was standing on my feet for hours and hours and staying up to like one and two in the morning and then having to get up like seven or eight in the morning for either church or take my children to their homeschool group and barely getting any sleep, falling behind on like house stuff, laundry, dishes, groceries, all that. And it literally took me a whole day or two to recover from the weekend, like just to catch back up and be at to zero. And guess what? I'm not getting paid for those recovery days. But here's the kicker, because I probably could have gotten used to that, like just with a better planning and the fact that the school year is almost over, you know, there's light at, light at the end of the tunnel, my husband would be home more it probably could have worked but here's the problem it's it's just the paycheck for me i mean that's what it is it's it's the money for me i was making 13 dollars an hour yeah <laughs> and obviously i knew that was low i knew the pay when i took the job in december but i was under the impression that the work would be 
$13 an hour level work. It is not. <laughs> the work is actually much more than that, but I'm only getting compensated for $13 an hour. And I just can't. And I'm not upset. You know, I'm not upset at, you know, I I get that it's a business and they're that's what they're going to pay people. And uh, they're probably used to people quitting and it's a revolving door. So why invest so much in someone who's probably going to quit anyway? I get it. That's fine. But I just realized that I can make a lot more doing something else. I mean, let's face it. I've actually made some online sales for whatever reason people are shopping online more. Even me, who has a small store, is getting some play. So I'm going to kind of wanting to stay in the algorithm, like stay in that little stream that I'm in right now and start focusing on that more, get back into reselling. And obviously letting Oren, my husband, who makes so much more an hour, like triple, you know, what I make an hour, give him that time back to go ahead and do what he do. You know, to go ahead, okay, um, go ahead and make more money. <laughs> he actually got like a new project while I was working for these past, was it three months? December, January, February, March, four months-ish. Um, he was kind of late on um, some benchmarks and like deadlines for a project he was working on. And had he had the time from when I was working, if he had that time to work, he probably would have been on time. So uh, with this new project, you know, he wants to put a better impression and obviously get the work done and have it done at the time that he said that he will. I'm actually a little sad <laughs> because I thought I found something that could work for us. I liked the idea of regularly throwing money towards debt. I like the idea of regularly getting this paycheck, you know, um, you know, I haven't had that in a long time. I could still get that. I could still have some regular money coming in. It's just, I'm, it's not guaranteed anymore. It's not on, um, it's not just there. I'm going to have to go out and, and work harder for it which is fine. And in that video in January, we laid out paying $39,000 in a year, which included $15,000 coming from my part-time job. Obviously that's not gonna happen anymore. <laughs> so we need to figure out and adjust again how we're going to make that work. But yeah, it's just, you know, it's been a struggle. You know, I've been, or we as a family have been late to church, you know, because I'm not up, you know, with the breakfast and getting children ready and getting myself ready. And um, and then that group on Monday, we've been late, just not having things prepared. And, you know, all these extra things that have been, you know, coming up, been late to that. And it's all because of being so wiped out from this job. While I'm at the job, it's not too bad. Like I said, it's just recovery. You literally feel like you've been hit by a truck. Like, oh my goodness, like what happened? But it's fine, like all this disappointment, I'm going to harness this disappointment energy and throw it all into making money from home in March and just going bananas with that as hard as I can. And we'll see what happens. Thanks so much for walking with us on this journey and wherever you are in your debt-free journey, keep at it. <laughs>